20 canvas and I'm reusing one that I had um, done some experiments on and um, one little uh, tip for those of you that are new and not sure if you can reuse um, canvases you yes you can <laughs> um, what I tend to do is um, if they're smooth and like there's no um, bumps or anything then you're good to go but if there's any little bumps or you know because sometimes if the paint you, you got one little bump in there from the, the paint not getting mixed all the way or you know whatever gets on it I usually take like um, a thousand grit sandpaper or two thousand um, and just lightly kind of rub over it and get the spots over and you can feel that it's nice and smooth um, and then you're usually good to go that way, you know, you can um, experiment, you can use canvases over and over, and they can get, uh, you know, expensive if you paint a lot. All right, so I'm going to be using my 10 ounce, um, just my spouted cup uh, today. It's one of my favorite cups. I love uh, using the spouted cup. And um, so if you have watched, um, I think one of my recent videos, I used silicone again for the first time in years um, and the painting turned out really really pretty and so I have some of the leftover black um, that has silicone in it so I'm going to try to use use some of that up and um, I also have a color here um, that I added a couple drops of silicone so those will be the only two colors that I have silicone in um, if you missed that um, video this is the um, painting you can see there super super pretty I've got some nice juicy looking cells um, as Dwight called them <laughs> nice juicy cells so I thought uh, why not kind of use up this I don't want that to go to waste and then I'm going to use some of those same metallic colors without silicone so again the only two um, paints that have silicone are these two colors and this one here is two that I mixed together and it's um, They're both folk art one is patina and then the other one is aquamarine And then I've got all these well all these are from deco art, but these three are um, Americana decor metallics. I've got copper 24 karat gold and antique bronze and then this one here is Deco Art Extreme Sheen um, bronze, just regular bronze. And then the black is two that I mixed together, and that is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black with the uh, Liquitex Basics Mars Bat Black. And I have always mixed my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic paints, always. Um, even with the white, I've always mixed that one um, with the um, Artist Loft or with the um, Liquitex Basics Titanium White. And I, I think I know some people are having issues with with their Artist Loft really selling up. And I think maybe I haven't had that issue because I've always mixed mine. So if you are having that issue, go ahead and mix it half and half. That's what I usually do, 50-50, and then add my pouring medium to consistency. Okay, so for these paints, I have mixed them all with my regular pouring medium, which is Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol, and water. And I mixed those one part paint to two and a half parts um, of my pouring medium. And then you can see there the consistency. It's pretty much, it comes off the stick and then makes a little mound in the cup and then disappears uh, somewhat quickly. Same one for this one. Now my black one did thicken up a bit, so I put a few drops of water in there. You can always add water to your paints. Just, um, it's usually best to kind of not go more than like 30%. Some paints will allow you to go 50, but if you, if you add too much water, it's going to break down the binders in your paints. Um, and then that causes... A little bit of flocculation and that's where the paint the paint flocks and it, it, it 
it clumps into little tiny clumps and you'll 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 know when you see it so just be wary of that and you can also get that with too much pouring medium as well so all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start getting uh, the paints here in my cup some of my favorite metallic paints I love 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 so I'm gonna just have just have some fun again with uh, using silicone and <laughs> I wrote down the order that I want my to put my paints in so hopefully I will it'll come out beautiful we will see let me get my lids off here really really quick okay all right so I'm gonna start with uh, the copper and I like to pour down the side and um, the side that I'm going to pour out of that's the side that I like to pour down so that's just my my preference everybody has their own you know their own way of doing things so that's just mine all right Oh, hopefully this will be nice and pretty and we'll see how I probably will get um, you know cells from the different paint consistencies as well metallic paints tend to uh, sell up anyway so we'll see okay I think I want to add how did I have that yeah I think I messed that up but whatever I told you I'd probably not get my order right and I even have it written down next to me Get a little carried away, but that's all right. Okay. Bronze has a tendency of taking over, so. Okay, so let's go. We'll go a little bit more black. This one has had quite a few drops um, in it. When I started, it was, a you know, quite a bit more in uh, the cup. So I think there was like eight drops in that in that now this one I only put like three drops of the um, the silicone so actually I tried to only put two um, <laughs> but one extra drop kind of came out so and for those of you that are new to my channel um, I do have a Facebook group uh, as well it is the same name as my youtube channel acrylic pouring with friends and i'm almost to 20,000 subs um it's a really great group so if you haven't joined yet uh go check it out it is it is really a fun group we have you know a lot of um talented artists there a lot of new um people to acrylic pouring so you know if you have any questions Usually someone's there if, if I don't get to to the post to answer. There's usually someone um, knowledgeable that uh, will give you a good good answer, some good help. So again, if you haven't checked that out, it's uh, Acrylic Pouring with Friends uh, on Facebook. So go give it a check. All right, so I am almost done, I think, getting these. I kind of went off my list. I was going to just rotate, but I kind of went off kilter here. <laughs> so... I'm just trying to get it filled up to the, um, the the bottom of the spout is where I usually like to pour my paints to. And again, this is my 10 ounce. Ten, that's the 10 ounce mark is the bottom of that spout. So let's see, one more little bit of and I don't want I don't want this one to hit the canvas first. Um, because a lot of times if the silicone hits the canvas first, then it's definitely going to leave bare spots. So I try to uh, make sure that I have a, a paint without silicone hitting hitting the canvas first. But um, it's not really that big of a deal. That other painting I did, all the colors had silicone in it. So not really that, that big of a thing. Alright, so this actually looks really, really cool. I don't know if you can see... <laughs> see those colors there super super pretty all right so I think I'm just gonna 
start with one in the middle. I may do multiple ring pours, but I'm just going to start with one in the middle and see what happens. All right. So here we go. Alright guys, so here we go with the dried photos, and this painting went a little crazy. Um, I did really like it right after I poured it, and then the cells just took over. Um, I lost the kind of cool pattern that I had in the middle, uh, so what I did was, you saw me kind of fiddle with it, I added the um, patina with my palette knife, and I do really like it now, I like it vertical, I think it looks kind of cool that way, um, so I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like my video, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, that way you are notified when I upload new videos. And one way to help out my channel is to share the video, so if there's somebody you think may enjoy it, go ahead and share that with them. And I also have the link to my Etsy shop in my description. Uh, all my acrylic pouring tools are there, and also my paintings, so again, go ahead and check that out. And I've got a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy, and I will catch you in the next one.